Hi guys, so here's how to make email lists in Zenla. So I'm going to click on email broadcasts. Now I'm going to click on emailing lists. Um, and I'm going to create a new list. We're going to call this test. And I'm going to click create. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on all contacts. You can also click on imp so you can also import contacts, which I've covered in the people section, and that's just uploading in CSV. Um, but I'm going to click on all contacts. Right now, as you can see, I've got various different contacts here. So I'm just going to filter them. Uh, and I'm going to get all my students. So I'm going to pick role. So as you can see, we've got site admins, affiliates and students in this list. And we're just going to pick students because I just want to email my students. So here we go. Here's all my students. I'm going to tick this box here. And as you can see, it's grabbed every single person, every single one of my students. And I'm going to click add to email list. I'm going to select them and I'm going to put them onto test, which is the list I've just made. And I'm going to click add. And then I'm going to go on to broadcasts. So now I'm on all broadcasts. I'm going to click create new broadcast. And I'm going to title it test and I'm going to create one. So I'm going to pick my email list and that's going to go to test. So as you can see, you have a certain amount of email credits per month. Um, this is across all your sites because uh, they're all linked to the same account. So just be vaguely aware of how many credits you have and how many people you're planning on sending emails out to this month. So now we go. Here we go. Uh, I've got 11 contacts in the list and uh, I'm going to send it from Zenla Mail. Uh, we've got it. So it's coming from Jamie and the response email is jamie at zenla.com. So I'm going to click next. So I'm just going to send them a welcome email because I've just freshly imported these people and I'm just going to say hi. So this is a dynamic tag. So what it's going to do is it's going to add in their first name from the database. So if we go back onto email lists quickly. And we look at our list. It's going to take their first name from all of these databases. So there we go. So it's going to say, hi, Jamie. So I'm just going to send them a quick message just thanking them for joining my course. So I'm just going to say, There we go, so it's pretty basic. Uh, you might wanna go into more depth. Uh, and then also we should be aware of the subject line. So for example, if I was to add, so their first name, and then, and there we go. So that should come as the subject. First name, welcome to my course. And then hi, first name, thanks for joining my course. Let me know if you need anything from me. Uh, you should probably go into more depth than that, but this is just a quick show you how to do these. There we go, so here's what the preview would look like. You can also add in various other things. So you can add in images. So let's add in a nice image. And we'll pick some biscuits, because everyone likes biscuits. There we go, these biscuits remind me of my childhood and I'm gonna click preview one more time. There we go, so there's my biscuits and there's my thank you for joining my course. Um, and then we're going to just quickly send a test email. You should always do this just to make sure that everything appears right in the email client. So I'm just going to send it to myself. I'm 
going to click send test. So I'm just going to go onto my email account. I'm going to pause it here because I don't think you should all see my work emails. And as you can see, I've got an email from myself saying, welcome to my account. Uh, hi, first name is still going to be there because it's a test account. So no need to worry about that. Now that's all okay, I'm gonna click next. And I'm gonna schedule this. Uh, so you can send it now, you can schedule it, or you can click it as a draft and it will say, and it will just save it for later. So I'm gonna click schedule and I'm going to send it, set it for today at, ooh, let's do 12 p.m. And because I'm in London, I'm going to pick that so that should be arriving to me at midday and we're going to schedule this is you need to add your physical address now this is regulatory this is regulatory um, and it's something that you can't get around you need to enter in your physical address uh, it's part of the can spam act and gdpr so it's not a big deal but we do need it regular for regulations so i'm just going to update my address Now, I'm going to pause this for the moment because I don't really want to send you all my address. And there we go. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to click Schedule Broadcast. There we go. So it comes up with Broadcast updated successfully. And here we go. So if I were to go onto All Broadcasts, it tells me what time it's scheduled and that it is scheduled with this little purple box here. And that's how to create email lists and send email broadcasts on Zenla.